it's about 105 so that's gonna make the solar panel hot pretty quick once I put it out in the Sun but let's go ahead and do this anyway we'll see how it performs Ecosonic technology sent in a hundred watt solar charger for review and test so let's open it up see what it comes with we'll go over the parts and then we'll take it outside and uh, set it up and we'll test it so as it sits folded up it's about 15 and a half inches in width about 19 and a quarter inches tall and at the thickest section it's about three inches it weighs about 10 pounds that's really compact and very portable in my opinion nice little uh, pouch here on the front well that's full of stuff so here's a close-up of the power hub and this is what's kind of unique about this you can plug this directly into the solar panel and the power hub you can use to power USB-C items, USB-A items, or even just a 12 volt DC output. Like maybe you want to plug your portable power station into this in order to charge it up via the 100 watt solar panel. Closer look at all of the connectors that it includes in the package, along with this adapter with MC4s on one end, XT60 and an Anderson plug on the other. Four carabiners and an extension cord and all of this comes with this Ecosonic 100 watt portable solar panel. Very cool. Oh and a silica gel pack. Warranty period is 12 months and it gives you a lot more information about the uh, warranty. So here's some specifications on the panels both the 60 watt and the 100 watt. This is the 100 watt version 100 watt panel 9.92 pounds, 26 volts open circuit, and 4.54 amps of current. Parameters for the power hub, so we're looking at the 100 watt power hub. USB-A, USB-C gives you the output and information. DC output 12 volts, 5 amps. If we look at the back of the panel, it has Velcro legs, somewhat adjustable in order to set it up so you can arrange it toward the sun and get the most efficiency out of the setup. So here's a look at the solar panel specifications. 100 watt, 22 volt MC4 output, 4.54 amps. So it gives you all the information as well right on the panel and here it shows IP67 rated. It's made in China. So now you can get a better perspective of this Ecosonic 100 watt solar panel or charger. I remember the clip this time and show you how easy it is to set this up. Let me get my cables out of the carrying bag here. And these are the wire. This is the wire that's connected to the panel. It's got a Velcro fastener here that helps keep the cord all neat and tidy. So that's probably about a five foot cord there that's just connected to the panel. And then you want to deploy the little kickstands. And there is one on each each section. Actually there's three. One on each end and then one in the middle. You can either lay it flat or you can angle it whatever the most optimal angle is to the sun. You want to try to get as close to a 90 degree angle between the sun and the panel. It will give you the best performance. But that's pretty, that's pretty good and it's nice and small and low profile. I really like the compact size of this solar panel. We'll do a shade test on the panel a little bit later. But I just wanted to set that up and then I'll take a multimeter and let's test the plugs and see what we get for performance out of the panel open circuit. All right, so here's the cable coming from the solar panel just out here in the sun. And let's test the open circuit voltage. The solar panel shows 26 volts is what it's rated at in optimal conditions for open circuit. So let's see what we got here currently. 25 24.99 and that's probably going to slowly go down because that solar panel is in the direct sunlight and it's heating up as we speak but almost 25 volts open circuit 
So let's connect the USB power hub to the solar panel directly using the supplied MC4 connectors. And we do have a red light that illuminates on the USB power hub. Then of course you can use this to charge USB devices. So let's give it a test. I've got an adapter here for the USB-C and I'll plug my phone cable into that. This will be real handy out camping. And then we'll plug in my phone. And you probably didn't hear it, but it made a noise and we're showing that we're charging. So that definitely works. So let's take off my adapter and we'll try the USB-A. And yes, we are charging. And then if you had a power station, you can use this extension into the 12 volt DC output with any one of the adapters that fits this, whatever power station you might want to be charging, it'll plug right into that. But just for fun, let's go ahead and check the voltage out of the 12 volt DC output and see what we get. So that outputs 11.95 volts right out of the USB power adapter. You can use the other included cable that has both the XT60 or the Anderson connector, connect this directly to your solar panel and charge a power station. So I'm gonna hook up an all powers R600 that I have and we'll plug it in and kind of see what we're getting out of the panel using this adapter cord. We'll put it up on the table where we can see it hopefully. We'll just plug that into this power bank Looks like it might peak out here at about 78. 78 watts out of a 100 watt panel and that type of heat really is not bad at all. 148, Let's see what the pavement is, 130. But the panel is about 148 and I got the sun going behind a few clouds here and there. It's mostly sunny, but there are a few clouds up there. Let me show you the panel, how I have it set now. And it's just laying in the sun, just flat. So the uh, power bank is showing 79 watts still. I'm gonna put the box over one of the panels, just to shade one of the four panels there. And let's go back and look and see what we get. So there, hopefully you can see, minus the glare, we're sitting at 45 watts with one quarter of the panel shaded. So you do still get some input, or some output, I guess it would be, from the panel if it does have some shade, but it's definitely not optimal. I'm going to leave the camera focused on the uh, power station and I'm just going to remove the box and we'll see what it goes up to. So almost instantly back up to 78 watts. Let's try to cover a couple of them. Half the panel is shaded now and that cuts us down to zero. So if you've got half that panel or more shaded, you're not going to get any output whatsoever. Now pull the box off completely. And we're back up into the mid 70s. Just for fun, let's look at the temperature of the power station right here in the shade, 101 in the shade. So that panel is extremely hot, 148 or 149, I think it was. Yeah, it's warm out here today, guys. So you can see on each end by the handle, they've got a uh, metal grommet on e every corner. And that's where uh, they give you the the small carabiners so you can strap this to something you can put those in here and clip it to the side of your car or the side of your camper or a tree or whatever you've got and then that way you can fasten it down so it doesn't blow away pretty nice kit i think okay i readjusted the panel gave it a little bit better angle to the sun And now we're getting 83 watts of input into the portable power station off of that 100 watt panel, which is excellent. And if you can see that without the glare, 3.3 amps coming off the solar panel as it sits right now. Stood up on the kickstands, angled toward the sun a little better and 83 watts. So real nice and it's just real important that you don't have it in the shade, you have it angled properly and you'll get the best performance out of the panel. I'll put links for this product in the video description along with any coupon codes they give me. For those of you who want to go check it out or get more information, big uh, thank you to Echo Sneak for sending out the product for review. And we'll see you guys on the next video.